Hey everybody, Beyondru TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the first video in kind of a long time. Apologies about that, but uh, yeah, life has just been kind of hectic as of late. So yeah, finally got everything kind of reined in between work, personal life, all that kind of fun stuff. And yeah, I'm kind of jumping back into Planet Zoo at a very fun time uh, to start a new project. So yeah, this is going to be a full on uh, zoo build here. Not as big as Thornton Hill Zoo. If you follow Thornton Hill Zoo, you know that I pretty much filled the map um, with the help of some other awesome creators um, with that project but this one is going to be way different in terms of budget scale um, how things look and everything compared to Thornton Hill Zoo so yeah this is going to be called uh, Sunset Ridge Zoo and we've actually this is kind of version two of Sunset Ridge Zoo because the first version um, I did an oopsie and uh, basically crashed that file and it, it went bye bye but that's okay it's okay because I kind of had uh, it was like a trial run um, essentially for a modern, no budget, set in a really nice climate uh, type zoo. So again, if you followed me for Thornton Hill Zoo, you know that that was kind of a medium to low budget zoo. Um, very, a lot of constraints. Uh, we were set in a colder kind of climate uh, during the winter time, so we couldn't have a lot of cool like tropical type trees and everything. Yeah, all of that is being thrown to the wayside uh, for Sunset Ridge Zoo. Again, as you can kind of tell here, uh, because yeah, this is our big front entrance way and look at this look what i've been up to the past little bit there i'm kind of giving myself some pats on the back here because <laughs> uh yeah i just i don't know i kind of threw the uh again through the constraints rule book um out the window and i'm just kind of letting loose and building how uh how i want to essentially i'm not letting any like budgetary constraints uh, kind of hold me back or whatever you want to say so um again yeah, this is our little entrance plaza area entrance way and I really like how this came out. Um, shout out to Ann Dahl, a great workshop uh, user there who created these little um, little shade ways here and everything like that. Um, I made these little planter sets here, found them off Pinterest. Speaking of Pinterest, if you are on there, um, you should definitely follow me. Um, I will send a link down below. I have an entire board uh, based on Sunset Ridge Zoo. It has about 110 uh, pins right now and I'm adding to it every single day. So if you're wanting to build in this sort of style, uh, I am saving a bunch of pins all the time there. Um, so yeah, and as we kind of move forward, um, yeah, and that's what I was getting at is that uh, this little planter thing here uh, kind of took inspiration from that off a pr uh, Pinterest post and everything. So, uh, but yeah, as we kind of move forward past our um, entranceway, you can see this big old atrium, big structure in the back, and this is going to be based off of the, uh, it's called the Sheffield Winter Gardens. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where this is at. I didn't do too much research other than, hey, that's a cool looking building. Uh, so <laughs> um, it's not an exact replica um, recreation or anything like that, but uh, we did get the um, the same beats and everything. So off to the left hand side of the building before we head on into the big old atrium and everything, uh, we'll see kind of an incomplete uh, structure here. This is probably going to be a guest relations um, area. This was originally going to be a restaurant, as you can see, kind of the chairs and everything and picnic tables I set up. But um, again, yeah, I kind of changed my mind halfway through because uh, you'll see we actually have a lot of food offerings kind of covered. Uh, so yeah, I think this will be like a guest relations slash gift shop, and we will get building on that uh, very, very soon because I don't want to leave a lot of things kind of empty as we move through the zoo and everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and enter on into, we'll go in through the middle of the glass not the entrance or the exit but yeah bam here we are right on into the uh the atrium and yeah i just really really wanted this to feel so lush and full of life right when you came in so there's all of the amazing uh foliage kind of spread throughout also shout out to uh, ndp for their faux rock set it is a modded scenery rock set um and yeah that is a, another thing i should mention this is a heavily heavily uh modded uh zoo i'm not really holding back as far as mods go so it's like if i need the piece and it looks good i'm using it. i don't care if it's from a mod pack i don't care if it's from a dlc um, i've kind of done that in the past as well where I've, I've kind of stayed away from using scenery mods to kind of make it really accessible to anyone that wants to download the project afterwards but um yeah long story short i'm not doing that this time we're just kind of again if i see a piece and it fits in and it's from a mod pack okay it's going in so uh yeah no i've been using a lot of fun mods here and again a big special one is the ndp uh modded faux rock set there um and then another one that's been really really helpful and it's probably hard to kind of see here uh let's see did i do it up here i didn't do it up here as much we'll get back to that in a second let's see where are the 
cool little mod Aroonies. Here they are. So the small exhibit pack, I believe it's from Lion Rider and Leaf and Company. Um, but look at this. They took all of the exhibit plants. So here with a teeny tiny plant, we have a teeny tiny log. Um, we have another teeny tiny plant right there, all individually placed and everything. Um, but yeah, no, shout out to those modders because I went absolutely bonkers placing teeny tiny little uh, plants all over that really add just a uh, boatload to the ambiance of the area and everything. So yeah, again, as we're kind of moving in, uh, really wanted it to be uh, just really, really lush in here. Just feel like you're walking into a jungle and oops, you know, we have a little mix up there there we go um but yeah also wanted to get some animals in here and you saw i unboxed an animal over there there we go we have a few uh different birds there's a macaw flying overhead um a lot of these are uh modded in animals actually i think every single one is a modded in animal um but yeah we have a bunch of birds flying or not flying no no we only have one bird that flies the rest of them are land ones so we have the um the red scarlet um ibis here i'm gonna click on this so i don't mess up the names uh we also have the great curacao Awesome, awesome. Um, we also will probably stumble upon them as we um, come in. Oh, we also have, forgot these are scenery items. We have the, um, oh gosh, what are these called? The Juju Dove or something like that? Ah, man, the Fruit Juju Dove, something. Uh, shout out to Leaf and Lion Rider. They gave me a great uh, bird list to um, tackle and everything. Cause I don't really, you know, I'm not that up on the animals and everything or what goes together or what would fit in. So uh, yeah, shout out to those guys for giving me some awesome suggestions um, on what to include in here. So um, yeah, there you go and everything. So, and also I included the uh, cafe. I don't know if many people remember Remember this but uh, simply Savannah she had the empty shell build challenge uh, oh my gosh it's been a while now that was such a fun challenge with um, a bunch of really fun creators um, but yeah I built this a uh, little what do you call it, like a shipping container cafe uh, for the entranceway of that project. So I kind of thought it fit in really, really well here. Had this big gap here. Could have definitely put another planter, but you know, just thought that it would be interesting to, um, yeah, again, kind of throw in this uh, shipping container cafe. And that's so fun now that we have from the European uh, DLC update or that uh, overall 1.8 update, I think it was. Uh, we have these counters here and they're so great. I love seeing, oh, I didn't know that the birds walked up on the, uh, <laughs> the picnic benches like that uh, anyways yeah it's so great to see guests actually using this because in the past um it was just all for show uh you know but it's, it's really cool to see them actually uh using it and everything so very cool there and then let's see before we head out here let me go ahead and turn off the lights turn the lights down low because uh, yeah i did do some lighting in here i didn't continue it um on the outside area where we're going but i will continue it um yeah the big reason i wanted to do that is show off this little uh thing <laughs> that I made. You gotta figure that most zoos and uh, projects like this, they kind of have like a symbol or an emblem that is like that projects or that zoo's like uh, symbol or whatever you want to say. Um, so yeah, I just kind of made this out of neon. I kind of thought kind of thought it looked pretty neat there and yeah again had a lot of fun doing a lot of the uh the lighting and everything throughout the atrium area kind of dwindled down near the end um i can tell that i was really into it for one probably like an hour i was really into doing some lighting then i was like okay that was fun let's turn the lights back on and build um but uh, anyways yeah we will be having some awesome lighting uh throughout this project so cool let's go ahead and we'll take a one last look at this uh, before we head on out but yeah let's head out to the i guess like continuation of the uh entrance plaza there so yeah as we head on out this is gonna be uh yeah kind of the second entrance plaza uh, out here so this is gonna be more of the uh, where you get like your gifts and just yeah kind of a more honed in um entrance area overall so uh but yeah here you go continuation of that uh symbol that i was just kind of showing off again i want to kind of get that um thrown throughout the zoo trying to remember to keep that going uh throughout the zoo excuse me there um big shout out to haribo for this awesome starbucks coffee reviewed this in a community showcase about a week or two ago um and yeah i remembered that it was having this really cool modern sleek look to it so threw it on in over in this corner here and oh my gosh it just it solidifies this little corner so so well so again shout out to haribo for being a magician at this game and making amazing things like this if you haven't seen this item it is up on the workshop uh, so be sure to search up Haribo or Starbucks and it will show up there. It also has an awesome interior. Just do a quick glance here. Uh, but yeah, look at how amazing this all is there. So yeah, I thought that fit in really, really well. So again, shout out to Haribo. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, as we're kind of going through, uh, yeah, we have the um, kind of the start of our gift shop, or almost a little mall, a little strip mall area um, on the side here. And again, a lot of these uh, buildings that I'm uh, building here are taken from reference photos from Pinterest. So do be sure to join up on Pinterest and follow me over there if you want to see where I'm getting all these references from. Uh, down below here, like I said, yeah, we'll have a gift shop. Uh, we need to finish that still. But yeah, I'm really liking how this sleek white and... Uh, Kind of modern set is just looking right here with all the green the harsh green or not harsh but just really bright vibrant green uh, against it but uh, anyway speaking of green up on top of the gift shop look at this i love the way that this looked in the um in the reference photo here but they have this like greenhouse juice bar thing going on so i had to put this in um up there and just yeah again i really really like uh, how this turned out this probably took the majority of the build time um to do just to try and get all of the plants in and oh yeah big shout out big big shout out before we get in there to this creator here for the potted plants um that's going to be from cute uh, cut three Z, 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 Z. so cute z's um but yeah they made this absolutely amazing uh, potted plant set here. I just typed in, I think, potted plants on the workshop and it popped up. Uh, but yeah, look at all of these. These are absolutely great and they fit in perfectly uh, with what I was needing there. So yeah, if you're needing some uh, small little potted plants and everything for a build, uh, then that is where you go. But let's start on the outside here. We have the outside little juice bar. Again, awesome that we can put in these uh, little countertops so that people can actually come up and use them eventually. But yeah, then as we come inside, look at this. I love the way that this turned out. Love, love, love the way this turned out. Again, you just have like the full on greenhouse effect. Um, these little plants here from the small exhibit mod pack, they look like pothos to me. So I just started um, multiplying them around and making them look really thick and uh, trying to attach them to, you know, different poles and rods and all that kind of fun stuff like pothos like to do um so yeah no just again i really really like how this came out and this was such a fun build i love um plants and putting them throughout my own personal house um, our own house we have over 25 potted plants if you can believe it actually it's that's not too hard to believe is it um throughout our own personal house so yeah this was um really really fun not having to have a budget because that's always our issues we go to uh you know one of our local greenhouses or something like oh we can only spend you know fifty dollars on plants but this one i just kind of got to go crazy <laughs> um but yeah again really like how this uh turned out there and everything oh my gosh my cat wants to get out of the room let me let him out real quick okay bruce go He's out of there. Um, but yeah, no, again, we had a lot of fun uh, setting up this little uh, juice bar and merch shop over in the corner there. So that was a lot of fun. I don't have an official name for this. I'm really bad at names. If y'all have been following the channel for a while, y'all know, you know that I am pretty bad with naming things. So right now, this is the Sunset Ridge Zoo Juice Bar. <laughs> That's as creative as I got, basically. So, uh, but yeah, there is the Sunset Ridge Juice Bar. Juice Bar, excuse me. If you do have any other name suggestions, let me know. Um, but really, overall, that's basically what I've gotten done the last uh, few weeks there. Apologies for not having a time-lapse video or speed build video. We will have those moving forward as we move into uh, putting a lot of the wetlands pack animals and everything. Yeah, I do know that the day this is coming out is the day of the wetlands pack or the wetlands DLC release, and I'm not doing a wetlands animal. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, but that is coming up because if we take a little look-see-poo around the corner here... Yeah, I have started the wetlands area. Just basically, I wanted to get um, I wanted to get the entire entranceway kind of done up and not left in the uh, left in the dust there uh, before kind of moving on to the wetlands area and other things like that. So yes, we will um, have a wetlands build in the next episode. There, like you, I, uh, like I said, you can see the uh, build starting to take shape here. We are going to have uh, capybara and red crown cranes uh, kind of sharing an exhibit there, an enclosure. Um, I did ask um, a few different people who are privy to animals and knowing way more about them and they did say it shouldn't be an issue for those two animals uh, to hang out but if you do have other opinions on that do let me know because I'm always interested what animals can kind of cohabitate together and everything and um, kind of pushing those boundaries so uh, but anyways yeah here is Sunset Ridge Zoo do let me know what you think of this so far down in the comments below also let me know what you're thinking of the wetlands animal pack I know I didn't really talk about it much in uh, if at all <laughs> in this video but it is a very very cool pack so definitely be sure to check it out if you're looking for some more um, base game DLC animals there. 
And yeah, no, I can't wait to build for the Capybara and Red Crown Crane as those both, uh, especially the Red Crown Crane, are my favorites uh, from the pack. So yeah, definitely can't wait to show those off next build there and everything. So hey, all right, that's going to go ahead and do it there for me. Let's go ahead and do a closing shot. There we go, right there. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? So yeah, again, hey, let me know what you think of Sunset Ridge Zoo version 2 uh, so far. Any comments, concerns, suggestions, always welcome down in the comments. Um, and yeah, it is really good to be back making videos, making content. Um, it really was not fun being so busy with work. Uh, we were doing a lot of training, uh, but we are fully up to staff now, so I can kind of ease back on the stress there a little bit, I guess you can say, and uh, focus on content more. So I'm really, really excited to jump into Sunset Ridge Zoo here and just go full bore with making videos and builds and everything, because I am so inspired and full of creativity right now, it's it's not even funny. So, um, But yeah, like I said, in the next few videos, we will definitely be covering all, covering all of the wetland animals and doing an entire wetland wetland area so do be sure to uh, stick around for that so hey if this is your first time hanging out with us don't forget to hit that subscribe button it helps you stay up to date with all the fun stuff going on on the channel also hit the like button it does help out the video get to more eyeballs and everything like that so hey awesome thanks everyone for hanging out always do appreciate it and until the next episode of sunset ridge zoo y'all have a good one